Um, when it comes to actually physically going out to the stores, um, make sure that you park in well-lit areas. Make sure that you, um, it's great if you can shop with somebody else um, because if you have a buddy with you, um, you know, strength in numbers. Um, for women, if you're carrying a purse and you have a cart that you're pushing, um, it's not a bad idea to actually use the um, child seat um, strap and use that to lock your purse in to the cart um, or carry a carabiner with you and use your purse strap um, with the carabiner and the cart. Um, usually criminals, if they see something that's easy to take, that's what they're after. If they're going to have to work for it a little bit by spending some time unlocking your purse from the seat or undoing a carabiner, um, then they may avoid it and move on to a different uh, person to take something from. Also make sure your purse is zipped and that your your wallet is invisible. Just going back to that. If your purse, I'm sorry, if your wallet is sitting on top of your purse, it's gonna be a lot easier for somebody just to reach in and nab that um, as opposed to if you have it zipped, they're gonna have to do some work to get into it and they may be looking for something easier to get to than that. Um, use a password locker on your phone and keep your credit card information inside that password locker. Um, that way, if you do lose your credit card while you're out and about and you have to report it stolen, um, you can call your credit card company and have that information available when you make that phone call. Online safety tips, okay. Um, first and foremost, make sure that your passwords are strong and make sure that they're long. Um, I've, I've heard and I, I guess advocate for making your password actually a full sentence because it's a lot of harder for somebody who's trying to hack in to, you know, guess an entire sentence as opposed to just, you know, in the normal password, which is password one. Um, make sure that you avoid, well, I shouldn't say, avoid public Wi-Fi if you can, because really they're mostly open networks and it would be easy for a hacker to sit down at Big B with you um, and be checking for open networks and they may be able to grab your passwords or get onto your, see what you're viewing um, that way. Um, be aware of just different email scams. If you're getting emails from somebody who, you know, open immediately and it's somebody that you don't recognize the sender, um, I wouldn't open that email at all. Um, don't ever give out your social security number when you're shopping online. Um, there really aren't any websites that would need that. Um, also be aware of um, your bank account and your credit card statements. So you may want to check those throughout the day if you are um, shopping online just to make sure that somebody didn't grab onto your your information and they're you know they're also shopping with your credit card um, while you're shopping. Um, another good tip uh, websites that you trust you can tell that they are secure because in the address bar there's usually a little lock in the upper left hand corner um, as long as you see that lock it's a it's a relatively secure website if you don't see that lock then you may want to be leery of that and, and avoid that website.